Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. On this channel, we help new students arriving in Germany to settle in smoothly with all the necessary tips that they need to do their business here in Germany. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing by hitting this button and let's get going. Congratulations, you made it. You have your student visa and you're now thinking of traveling to Germany. So you may be wondering to yourself, what are the first few things that I need to know upon my arrival in Germany? Well, we've got you here. So the first thing you need to know and understand upon your arrival in Germany is to sort out your accommodation issues. Well, I know that sometimes um, some landlords and schools can send you the contract whilst you're in your home country to sign your contract however some also will require you to sign a new one when you come here and all so upon settling in your new apartment make sure that you have your contract signed for whichever year it is and then you know all the nitty-gritties that goes into your apartment or i mean what the, you've been given to you as your apartments or your accommodation now the second thing upon signing your accommodation contract is to book an appointment at the Bulga Amt it's a place to register your address in Germany so you book an appointment with the Bulga Amt sometimes if you're lucky you can just do a walk-in but you have to go early so like between like 6 a.m. to 9, 9 a.m. should be there because there will be a lot of people there also joining queues to go and register their document. So you'll be given something called Melde Bescheinigung, which is popularly known as Anodom. It is an address for your residence in Germany. So your address is registered within the district or the town or the city you live in in Germany. This document is very important because you're going to need it for basically every other thing you do in Germany. Now, upon doing this, the third thing you need to know is to quickly get a SIM card. Yes, a SIM card. Get a SIM card, register with your passport, and this SIM card will help you do other things that we'll talk about later. So there are a number of telecommunication networks here. So we have O2, we have Vodafone, we have Leica, we have a uh, Mobilecom, a whole you know, wide range of PM telecommunication networks that you can choose from. So you go to them and talk to them. A lot of them give different kinds of offers. Some of them also, you know, um, sign long-term contracts and all that. But please, I would want to caution you to be mindful of the sort of contract you sign with um, this telecommunication because especially if you don't know how to write read in German it is something interesting that I will give you the contract at the end of the year or two if it's for two years if you don't go and change the contract three months before the expiration it could automatically renew itself and this is something you don't want to do this is something you don't want for yourself so until you study the whole system and understand it better for yourself get yourself a prepaid sim card i would advise that you get a prepaid sim card because that sim card is for your first few transactions and later if you understand the whole telecommunication uh, contract thing then you choose the best package for yourself now you have your sim card the, th the next thing to do is to book an appointment at the bank to register or to create a bank account it's also very important so immediately you have to get book an appointment go to your bank the nearest bank so there are a number of banks here we have Deutsche Bank we have Sparkasse we have um, I'm in Berlin so we have uh, Berlin and Sparkasse and a host of banks different different banks we also have N26 which is also an online bank it's most popular among students and all that but one thing with N26 is that they don't give you a debit card, they give you a credit card. And the difference is that whenever you want to do a transaction with it, most, most German companies demand that you give them your debit card. So if it's N26, it becomes a bit difficult. So you also must know. 
you can also have multiple bank accounts so the choice is yours to choose now the next thing to do is also get your health insurance done get your health insurance done because it's also very important um some there are some people who also had this incorporated with their fintiba account that the block account um with um fintiba plus for example you can have uh, health insurance already incorporated in so fintiba will take care of that you don't need to worry that much about it however if you didn't have that then you, you need to take steps to get onto the statutory um uh, statutory health insurance so we have either private or public now the private ones are a few but the public ones are more so you also have to choose now there are also something called my vista insurance which is also a student insurance most specifically for students you can choose that because it's very cheap however unlike the other health insurance where you go to the hospital all the bills are taken care of when it comes to my vista you have to pay your bills ahead of time and then you put in the invoice to my vista and then they reimburse you so the choice is also yours but this is very cheap compared to the public health insurance so get your health insurance done because it will also be needed for almost all everything you do and especially when it comes to job and when it comes to other fundamental things so now you have a bank account congratulations so the next thing to do is to activate your fintiba account so that the money your monthly money will start flowing into your bank account so this is what you do there is something on fintiba platform that is called post lighting now this post lighting you download it and then you either go to the post office which is the post bank and then you get it scanned and activated and once this is done you'll receive a code that you can input into your fintiba account all the processes are explained on the fintiba app i'll put a link below so please watch it out and you can go through and read it for yourself and help you to set up your bank account and get you going now the next final stage or the next thing to do is to extend your residence permit now in extending your resident permits there are some basic things requirement to do so i also put the link below for, for the, some of the requirement for outlander beholder because you have to do it at the outlander beholder which is the foreign office now what you need to do here is to get your passport and then um your health insurance you need to get your unmail done that's your residence address registration you need to get um your fintiba block account you know they, they gave you a letter or something you know yes you have to attach it among other few tiny things just to go to outside the beholder to extend your visa it is very important so that your visa mostly is three months so you have to extend your visa but what you have to do here before you go and extend your visa is to book an appointment early because some your visa is only for three months some some are six months but you have to book an appointment early as soon as you arrive so that you can do it maybe after a month or so then you can get yourself going once you have it done it opens a wild range of opportunities for you and you will settle in and then you can concentrate on your studies okay guys thank you so much for staying through to this time please consider subscribing for more insightful videos that will come your way every each and every week there's so much to learn on this platform so please consider subscribing thank you and see you again